Hey guys, Don Phoenix here, and I decided we're gonna go ahead and check out Kokoron, uh, which was a game that, interestingly enough, was made as a competitor to Mega Man by the original creator of Mega Man. I forgot what his name exactly was, but I remember they actually did an interview uh, with a guy that wrote a book about Mega Man 3, and they talked about kind of this game as well as some other stuff that was related to the whole subject matter. Uh, so I'll do my best to kind of explain what's going on with Kokoron here. So, uh, I got this weird little Dreamtime story thing here. This was never a game that was released in the U.S., by the way. This was a Japanese-only release that got translated later on uh, by some great people on the internet. And uh, it's because of people like that that, you know, we could have translated ROMs and play games that we were never... We never had the pleasure to, really, so that's really cool. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and skip the story. Well, I had to watch the dance, right? Okay. So this is what's really interesting about this game. This game gives you a list of different parts that you can choose. And this allows you to create your character. And these parts have different attributes and things like that. So, um, it, it's really interesting how they do that, of course. So, and you also get to choose from different sprites, too. This is just a really cool little thing that they didn't have in Mega Man, obviously. Instead of Mega Man, where you, uh, capture the robot masters and get their power up, but otherwise remain the same character, this one you create different characters through the stages, and they all have their own different abilities and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and choose some different things here. So we're gonna do the uh, alien, of course. Let's see what kind of armor we're gonna do here. What's well, a good HP, I think, but we wanna we don't want it too high of a weight. So uh, let's see. Yeah, cyborg, alien, cyborg, awesome, right? <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's do um, a ball, I guess. And we'll just call ourselves DP, because why not? You can min max all you want, of course. You can see it clearly plays like Mega Man. But, anyways, uh,. You can obviously go back, of course, if you, uh, you know, if you didn't like the particular combination. But I think this one will be fine. It's kind of cool. Trump Castle! <laughs> Let's start there, because why not? <laughs> Perfect timing, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. I'd say this game is pretty similar to the Mega Man games, probably a little bit on the easier side, most likely. Well, I don't know, I'm getting my butt kicked, so maybe that's not the case. Oh, I gotta shoot the eggs to get the power up. That's what I was doing wrong. I hate how you have to shoot the thing to, uh, you know, get the power up. They should just, you should be able to just have the power up, not have to shoot the stupid egg. How come I can't hit this egg? You have to, like, jump perfectly. Now we've got a more powerful ball attack, it looks like. Oh, it's bigger than it was before, so that's pretty cool. Ah, dang it, these freaking, uh... Jeez, these penguins are vicious, dude! They're just all over! Go back to the North Pole, please! I'm almost dead. I am dead. This game's a little more challenging than I thought. Um, let's try Trump Castle again. I mean, might as well. I guess that's supposed to be a one-up or something. Ah, fudge! What the hell? Why, why did I see fudge? I uh, might try to self, uh, censor myself or what? <laughs> let's just try another stage. This game's kicking my butt. Let's just skip a lot of this crap, because... Talk about ridiculousness. The Milk Sea. Come on, people. 
Doesn't get much more fairy tale than that. This is crazy. And of course, the land is cheese. Come on, die! There we go. Uh, got a boss fight or something, I guess? The pirate. I'm Flint the pirate! Are you DP? That's not a pirate at all. Arr! <laughs> okay. Let's see what you got, pirate tier. Oh, look at that freaking life bar! That's real fair. <laughs> oh, wait, am I supposed to just kill the skeletons? Or am I actually supposed to. It doesn't freaking matter, because he kicked my ass. <laughs> Am I actually gonna have a real life bar now, game? Or this weapon just sucks. I think I chose the wrong combo, but I didn't want to like choose something that was too powerful. Cause like you choose different characters and stuff. I remember right. This music kind of reminds me of Street Fighter way, but for some reason I can't fire midair. Like right, right. Oh, it's the number of projectiles. I can't have too many at once. I can only have like two or some bullshit like that. Okay. Yeah, this is ridiculous, dude. This is really crazy hard. Okay, we're gonna try a different character. One that probably doesn't suck. So, let's go ahead and try that. We're gonna try to get a good combination of HP and agility. So, let's start with Hero Face. Hmm, let's see what else we got here. Let's do the, yeah, cyborg body, of course. And we'll do the shuriken, I think. Because that's probably going to be the best weapon. Yeah, this will be fine. Let's uh, try this character out. It can't be too bad. Kind of looks like a Mega Man character, actually, like this. Yeah, we should have better attacks and all that good crap. Yeah, he's about the same as the other character, movement-wise, so this will be much easier. Try that Milk C again. Yeah, it only takes like one or two hits to kill those guys. I guess you also gotta make sure to collect these power-ups, because I remember, yeah, gives me like the better attacks and stuff. Oh, hells yeah, man. This is much better than the other crap I had before. Oh, well, I guess the power-up's only temporary. That sucks. I wish I had a character that could shoot more than two projectiles. That's what really throws me off with this game. I just have to be careful, I guess. No rapid button tapping like I've been doing. Save one for uh, the boss and one for the enemies. I guess that's a good strategy. Yeah. I don't know why he switched to throwing those. Those are easier to avoid than the enemies. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Now you gotta tell me about Princess Rua. What are you doing here, Tapir? This ain't your show, this is mine. You don't get to dance. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. You get to create different characters, and those numbers are supposed to represent, like, a number of counts you have. So, uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. Yeah, let's be a robot. Yeah, we'll make it a beefy robot with some armor and such. We'll do a tank body. Boomerang. Sounds good to me. DP2. <laughs> uh, uh, nah, let's not do that. Uh, hold on. How do I go back? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh... This definitely is a black metal gamer kind of thing, so we'll do BMG for that one. That's his character. Alright. Yeah! Let's do this! 
Okay, which one are we gonna do now? Let's see. House? Seems like an easy stage. Oh, okay, I get it. We're going back to the house. Ha! Okay, well, can I, can I get out of this, or...? No, I guess... guess not. At least the music's really cool here. I like how he rolls down really fast when you go down the... the, uh, incline there. That's awesome. It's really nice attention to detail, because he's a tank, obviously. But he, like, goes slower going up it. The human character didn't have that problem. Yeah, I'm really not too sure what the point is for doing this backtracking stuff, honestly. I'm not sure what I did here. Ah, crap. Kill that little, uh... I guess it's supposed to be like an armadillo or something like that. Okay, we made it back to the house. Don't know why that was a thing, but... Okay. <laughs> That's weird that you can play a stage in reverse. I, I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe just to rack up one-ups or something like that. Did I create a new hero now? Again? Yeah, let's try you again, BMG, in, in an actual character stage. Uh, let's see. Let's try the Fairy Forest. A lot of colorful action here. Like, this seems like it goes beyond what the NES should do color palette-wise. Because look at this pole... And, well, I guess some of those are same in colors, but it's really colorful looking compared to most NES games. So I've really got to give props there. Crap. Stop it. What, what's up with that weird flash? It does a weird flash whenever I hit the leaf there. Like, why? Oh, okay, the background change. That was really weird. Ow, that, that kind of sucked. There we go. Just jump over those guys. I guess the best way to handle them. See if we can master this jump here. Nope, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> uh, that was a terrible jump. Nice. Now we've got our. Uh, oh, I thought we had a power up. What, what was that supposed to signify then? I guess the weight might determine how high you can jump and stuff, not just your speed. And yeah, now we got better boomerang power up. Hopefully this will be enough to take on whatever we got to fight here. Titania, ooh. Oh, you're going to be one of those queens, huh? Not going to tell us where our princess is? Traitor to the cause. That's what you are, queenie. I, I can't even hit you from up there. That's not fair. Stop being higher than I can attack it. <laughs> there we go. Now I can attack you. Okay, we know whenever she does this one, we just gotta try to avoid the attacks, I guess. Dang it. Like I said, try to avoid the attacks, not actually do it, because I'm not good enough to do that. Could you stop doing that, please? She knows my weakness! Attack her! Attack her now! There we go, sucka! You should have stayed up there when you had a chance. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was tricky. Oh, he's Kokorin. Well, who's Kokoron then, I wonder? Did they miss... Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, thanks for answering that question. <laughs> uh, apparently his brother is the name of this game for some reason that we haven't figured out yet. Okay. Time for us to create a new character. Alright, let's do a ninja this time. We want... We're gonna try to do something fast. But I still want a little bit of armor, obviously. Boat? A ninja boat? <laughs> Sounds cool to me. But shurikens again, because those are good weapons. Well, eh, I don't know. Let's do uh, 
Bio Phoenix right here. Bio. Yeah, let's try it. Bio Phoenix and Ninja Boat. I don't know. Let's uh, try a different combo. I think. Just not feeling the boat, boat, the boat, the boat vibe here. Um, yeah, buggy definitely. That sounds better. Now nah, this is more like it. Let's do this. And Bio Phoenix will go to Star Hill, or let's see what else we got. Ice Fire Mountain Trump Castle. Let's try it now. Oh shoot, I gotta play from this stage to Trump Castle. That's interesting. Changes the enemies and stuff. That's that's really cool actually. This game has a lot of interesting stuff, but we have apparently enemies that randomly up do that. But I mean talking about the turtles that randomly drop. Dang it! I jumped right into the enemy attack. That's that's brilliant. Dang it. Sorry, I'm not doing Bio Phoenix very good here. There we go. Attack the turtle. I guess, see, the buggy is kind of hard to control. It has that same downhill slope thing like the tank does. Looks like we're getting into the next area of the stage here. Yep, now we're in the Milk Cheese Sea. Woo! Gotta go through there to get to Trump Castle, I guess. Yeah, it's just really weird because it changes the enemies and everything. That's that's just really interesting. I don't know why I'm still blown away by that. It's, we've already been playing the game for like 20-something minutes, but... Oh, we got a giant egg. What is this? Ooh, okay. Does this mean we got a boss fight or something coming up? Yeah, I always kind of imagined Donald Trump's castle being like this. I mean, this is definitely very presidential. You know, giant uh, deer heads launching their uh, antlers at you. Or elks or whatever, I guess. Whichever it is supposed to be. Can't tell by NES sprite graphics. I'm going to check something real quick here. Okay, so this actually does have... We actually level our stuff up here, I see. Okay, that's interesting. It's like everything else that I said that's interesting. Yeah, because this shuriken is definitely more powerful than it was before. I wonder if that's like a permanent upgrade too, or if it's just for the stage. Whoa, that was close. Apparently they have paintings of those uh, cards, you know, like that's the king of uh, spades or whatever. <laughs> ah. Those Hoyle cards or whatever they're called. Clearly he's lying about building the wall of Mexico. He's just going to build this castle taller. Ah, crap. He doesn't care about Mexico. I guess we got another level up. Yep. Now we can attack uh, behind ways. All right, let's see who the boss is here. Oh, uh, freaking card! Woo! <laughs> oh, the Joker. We gotta fight the Joker? Wait, wait, you're a card! Why are we fighting you? What am I attacking, even? Wait, did that hit? I can't tell. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay, I think that did something. No, well, maybe not. I have no idea. What are we even doing here? Like, this isn't hurting the enemy at all. I'm fighting freaking card symbols. What? This is the ultimate challenge in Trump Castle, really? Yeah, eventually you're going to be running out of uh, things to throw at me because we're already at 10 now. Uh, now you got Jack. Oh, what's the Jack going to do? Okay, hold on. I'm still not doing damage. Oh, okay, about freaking time the real enemy showed up, huh? Coward? Sucker! Ha! <laughs> My ninja that's on a, like a little motorized wheelchair kicked his ass. Ha!